What is going on good people of YouTube? It is me Chavez back with another MLB player prop video for you. Today's Thursday, June 29th, 2023. As always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. You can see the plan of action right there on the screen, recapping yesterday's plays, diving into the prize picks board and underdog board, and then saving our promo partnership to the very end of the video, giving some recognition and love to those good, good people. So if all that sounds good to you, I encourage you to stick around, drop a like, sub up, and click that notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and this channel. And without further delay, let's get into those plays from yesterday. All right, two one and one yesterday. Let's talk about that push. Bryce Harper took the under on his 2.0 hits runs and RBIs over there on underdog. Very favorable line. We don't really see 2.0 on prize picks and uh, we get it for 2.0 on underdog. It Really think about it. You need three hits runs and RBIs to go over that line. It's very difficult to do on a consistent basis. So uh, we took the under on that one. He pushes it. I'll take the push. It didn't completely destroy my lineup. And then we took the over on Mitch Keller strikeouts. Now this one, in hindsight, I wish I would have stayed away from, but I felt really good about the information I was finding. Then he got bumped up to six, and we still took it. I still took it because he, he technically still needed six anyway, right? He needed six to get over five and a half. Uh, and now it got bumped up to six and it just really created more of a push potential. Well, he only got five, so he didn't hit any of those lines. So he comes under that five and a half and 6.0 strikeout prop. So there was our first loss. Let's talk about some wins, okay? Adelis Garcia goes over his fantasy score by way of home run. That's now four home runs for him in his last six games. And then we took the over on four strikeouts for Dane Dunning. Stunning Dunning, stunning Dane Dunning. Man, 10 strikeouts yesterday versus the Detroit Tigers. He had a great game. He topped his previous game versus the Tigers that uh, where he had six, topped it with 10. Maybe next game he gets 15. I don't know. But overall, two and one, two, one and one on the day. We obviously are looking to keep this momentum going, building off yesterday's uh, success and hopefully today's picks bring us more of it so without further delay let us now transition into the prize picks board we'll have two plays that we'll talk about before transitioning into the underdog board and we'll have two plays to talk about over there let's go all right here are our two plays on underdog we'll be breaking down kyle tucker total bases chase anderson strikeouts as i always say if you got what you want i wish you the best of luck however if you want to stick around and listen to the breakdown of these players then uh, I encourage you to do so because we are wasting zero time. Let's start off with Chase Anderson, strikeout prop, like the over on this one. We're heading over to props.cash to look at this together. All right, this prop is not for the faint of heart. Let's talk about the situation we have here. So Chase Anderson facing a very strong Dodgers lineup in Coors Field. Now, this is that might be enough for someone to stay away from. However, I'm looking at a strikeout prop of 3.0 over on prize picks, and I'm also looking at a few different notes here, and it makes me like the over for this prop. I think it's really good value. So let's talk about this. Overall, his last five games, Anderson has gone over this line two out of his last five games, but in those two games, combined 13 strikeouts, six and a half strikeouts in each of those starts. When we look at his home starts, last five, 11 strikeouts in two starts so averaging right there five and a half but still two out of his last five games i understand these numbers aren't great but we'll keep digging a little bit so looking at uh looking at the dodgers lineup right now striking out at around i don't know 15th is like middle of the pack all right so 22.9 percent whiff rate versus right-handed pitching i mean they're not striking out a ton all the time, but they are showing some flashes of some some strikeouts, you know, in, in big in big amounts, heavy, heavy dosages, I guess you can say. Now, when I scroll down here, I want to show you that Chase Anderson, aside from that one crazy ass game against the Angels where he got destroyed, he's he's doing his he's doing a good job of of remaining in the game, not being taken out. So if you get taken out the game, you can't get strikeouts, right? So if he's in the game, he's giving you five plus innings. I like the I like the upside there of three plus strikeouts in those five innings. Last thing I want to show you here versus right-handed pitching on the season, the last five right-handed pitchers that the Dodgers have faced each 
one of them has gone over three strikeouts, giving you at least three strikeouts. Seabold gives you three. Brown, Blanco, France, the Astros uh, trio there gives you seven, six, and four. Obviously, Shohei Otani, uh, you don't sweat that one, but 12 strikeouts versus them on the 21st. So there is a lot to like here. If you dig, if you wipe away some of the dirt from the surface, there's some, uh, there's some good information here. So I'm personally going to play the over on the strikeout prop. You may fade this if you wish, but that's going to be our prop number one over on prize picks going over Chase Anderson, 3.0 strikeouts. All right, second prop on the prize picks board, Kyle Tucker, total bases, 1.5. I like the over on this one as well. We're headed back to props.cash to break this down together. All right, total base prop for Kyle Tucker. Let's filter this out to show all games. Now, the all split versus the away split is gonna be the same because the Astros last five games in general have been on the road. Uh, so when you look at the all numbers compared to the uh, away numbers, they're exactly the same. So there's no need to uh, look at the away splits and home splits for Kyle Tucker. But over his last five games, Kyle Tucker has racked up a total of five, six, eight, nine, 13 total bases. Facing a pitcher in Adam Wainwright who has struggled a bit this season, he has a good matchup. Now, there is no history between these two, but looking at what Tucker has done versus righties on the year, a .239 batting average, 7 homers, 11 doubles, and 31 singles. So, he's able to uh, put the bat on the ball, get on base. That's exactly what we need. We need one double for this line to hit or two singles, or he can do it uh, with a home run, which is which is highly, highly possible today versus Adam Wainwright. Adam Wainwright on the year versus lefties like Tucker. This is the part, this is the one stat that really, you know, put me over in terms of wanting to take the over on this. 383 batting average, five homers, two triples, 10 doubles, 19 singles. He is he has given up production. Uh, he's giving, you know, giving up power. He's giving up average. He's giving up just overall production. So left-handed batters seem to do very well versus Wainwright this season. And Kyle Tucker, on the other hand, seems to have, you know, you know, some success versus right-handed pitchers like Wainwright. So for me, that's enough for me to take the over on this 1.5 total base prop. So that's what we're going to do for our second player prop over on prize picks all right over on the underdog dashboard surprise surprise we're talking about kyle tucker again however we're going to talk about his fantasy points here now you could look at his fantasy points on prize picks as well but i like going fantasy points on one platform total bases on the other because we've seen scenarios where a player gets his gets over his total base prop but doesn't get over his fantasy points and the opposite. We've seen players go over fantasy points without even getting a hit in a game. So I like kind of covering both of those on different platforms. So we'll talk about Kyle Tucker's fantasy points on underdog. And then we'll talk about Christian Yelich fantasy points as well. Both I like the over. So we're heading over to props.cast to break these down. All right. We talked about Kyle Tucker's total bases. So let's talk about his hits, runs, and RBIs over his last five games. So six, eight. 10, 12, 15 hits, runs, and RBIs over his last five games. We're talking about fantasy points now. So with fantasy points, home runs, runs, RBIs, all these things mean a little bit more. Whereas with total bases, we don't really care. We just need him to get on base. So looking at what he's done in terms of home runs, he has one of those in his last five games. RBIs are worth three points over on underdog. So that's three RBIs right there. So yeah, keep in mind underdog scoring system is a little different than prize picks. So that's why you'll see higher fantasy scores, uh, higher fantasy lines over on underdog, but it's for good reasons. So they're giving you a little bit more to work with as well. They're not just hiking up, you know, the line over there. Run scored five of those. So we already know what he does versus righties. We already know that Wayne Wright gives up production to lefties, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a deeper look into some of the specifics around his numbers over the last five games. So getting it done with hits, runs, and RBIs, that's exactly what we need. Not striking out a ton, less than one strikeout over those five games. And then 
you always want to take a look at plate appearances because the more a player gets up to bat, the more opportunity to, opportunity they have to uh, succeed over his last five games. He's roughly giving you five at bats. So on the road, he's guaranteed that ninth. Uh, on the road, he's guaranteed a uh, you know that ninth inning. So usually at home, you know you don't see the home team get that last at bat, but. He should see five at-bats in this game versus the Cardinals. So a lot to like here. We like his total bases. And on underdog, we like the over 8.5 hitter fantasy score for Kyle Tucker. All right, let's talk about Christian Yelich. Hitter fantasy points, hitter fantasy score, I should say, on underdog. Right now set to 7.5 versus Max Scherzer. Now, he has a bit of a tougher matchup versus Max Scherzer than... Uh, Kyle Tucker has versus Wainwright. However, in his 40 plate appearances versus Max Scherzer, Yelich has had some success. Three home runs, five RBIs, one double, one triple, six singles, 289 batting average. Those are really good numbers. On the year versus right-handed pitching like Scherzer, most of his power is coming from uh, facing right-handed pitching. Seven homers, 16 doubles, hitting for a higher average. And then on the other side, Scherzer versus lefties. Done a pretty good job in 143 plate appearances, only giving up a 222 batting or 220 batting average, three homers, and four doubles. So in this particular prop, we're really looking at the history versus uh, versus Scherzer over over Yelich's numbers versus righties over Scherzer's numbers versus lefties because there are just times where a batter has a pitcher figured out or a pitcher has a batter figured out and it just kind of like goes that way throughout their entire careers hits runs and rbis look great so fantasy points runs hits rbis walks uh being hit by a pitch all those count towards your numbers as well as stolen bases so two stolen bases for yelich now if you want to kind of play out how this could look yelich can easily get on with a single still second base and right there, that's eight fantasy points. He's over it in one at bat. That is that is very possible today. So a lot of upside here for Christian Yelich. A lot to like here. That's why I'm going with the over seven and a half fantasy points for him over on underdog. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our player prop portion of the video. Let's spend a minute going over a few partnerships, things you need to know. Let's start with Thrive. Fantasy 100% deposit match up to 250. Use my promo code Chavez. Take advantage of that as well as a free square given to you when you use my promo code Chavez just for being a new user. Today's free square, Max Scherzer. We just talked about him. 0.5 strikeouts. As long as it doesn't come against Christian Yelich, I'm good with that. Pair that free square up with another play and 3.2x your money over on Thrive Fantasy. All right, let's talk a little bit about DGF fantasy or excuse me dg fantasy dgf listen i've been using the optimizer as part of my research process over the last few weeks and it's made a huge difference in just time saved and efficiency and just helping me uh, it's just helping me find value across the board across all platforms it's an amazing tool that optimizer uh if you want to know more about it all the information you need to know is in the description of this video five dollars off your monthly your weekly plans on dg fantasy just for using my affiliate link you can find that in the description if you got any questions just shoot me a message i'd be more than happy to answer anything you got all right ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for today's video drop a comment below let me know what you like on the board as well as your thoughts on these plays that we talked about in today's video as always thank you so much for stopping by checking this video out and helping this channel grow every single day best of luck to you all should you tell any of these plays and until tomorrow's mlb player prop video chavez is